Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, I wanted to just kind of sit down with you guys and catch up because I know it's been a while, even though I feel like I keep doing catch ups because I keep being away and like, but that's hopefully done now. I'm here and I'm back back to be regularly uploading um so yeah grab yourself a cuppa oh that's hot <laughs> um yeah i think that this little corner will probably be where we have a lot of our chats from now on um in my new flat that i'm very much enjoying but it's actually a mess right now which is awkward because that wasn't the plan but yeah i thought i'd do a little life up cut life up catch Life up catch? No, Sarah. That's not a word. I thought I would do a little life catch up um, because because there's a lot to catch up on. And a big announcement. I feel like I'll probably put that announcement in the title. So sorry that this sounds so casual and I do actually have a very significant life change that's happening. Um, oh, my eyeball. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and join me on the gram because actually the gram is where I post a lot of consistent content just because it's a lot quicker and easier. So yeah, a lot has changed recently. I have moved into a new flat so I've finally moved into somewhere like where I can live I feel where like all my stuff fits and people can come visit I can film lots of videos for you guys I can work out I can meal prep I'm closer to work and um, yeah everything's been going really well and I'm so grateful to God for this accommodation I feel like my eyelash is falling off one sec um and recently I've made quite a big life decision so as you guys know <laughs> I'm a doctor, I'm a junior doctor, and um, in the UK the way it works is that you do medical school, which I've done, um, you do your foundation training. Now foundation training is two years usually. Um, at the end of the first year you're fully qualified to work as a doctor anywhere. At the end of F2 you're qualified to specialise, and you're a junior doctor up until you're a consultant. That can be anything from five years after medical school if you want to be a GP, or up to 12 years for other specialties. Now, I went through school straight through uni, straight through to F1 which isn't uncommon but um, is also not that common these days quite a lot of people take gap years and stuff and um, I've been thinking about this for the longest time <laughs> during my quarter life crisis and um, I've actually decided to take some time out of training so my first time out of formal education since I was three <laughs> um, yeah so I've withdrawn I've given up my job for next year I I'm not in training. I'm still a doctor. I'm still going to be working as a doctor, but I won't be in full-time training anymore. And that has been a big, scary decision because it's so against the grain. It's not standard to do that after F1. And people just say, oh, people kind of look at you funny when you say you're going to do that. Um, but I feel like it's something I had to do and I feel like it's something I had to do now and I think that if I hadn't have done it, if I hadn't committed and done this now then I think, you know when you feel like you're at a bit of a crossroads in terms of where your life is going to go and the kind of life you're going to live, the kind of path you're going to take, as deep as that sounds, I felt like this was kind of it, I had to choose, do you know what, it, it was almost like something I really believe that I should do right now and something most people say I should do right now and that was kind of what it boiled down to and I had to go with what I believed I should do right now whether it was the logical thing or the blah 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 thing at the end of the day it was what was in my heart now there's a multitude of reasons as to why I've chosen to do this especially as I'm giving up an incredible job God blessed me so much giving me the rotations of my dream F2 job <laughs> in my dream hospital and I was so much looking forward to it oh I'm so looking forward to it um, but I think in order to pursue certain things certain dreams you have to be willing to take a risk and you have to be willing to sacrifice something and what I guess I'm sacrificing is a slower progression through medicine but actually I don't see that as a sacrifice anymore I think that's quite a good thing because it means I get so much more training as a junior it means that I will have so much more time being a junior and being able to do my exams and do everything to progress along my my career as a doctor so the reason that I've decided to take time out withdraw from an amazing job and give up a great job is so that I can focus on other things for a while over this last year I've become so aware of how precious time is it really hit me that actually we can't take for granted what we have we can't take for granted and um, our good health and it's such a blessing like we're such miracles we're walking breathing miracles such a blessing to be alive and to be able to live and make decisions and I want to take advantage of that as much as I can 
can. Um, and what I mean by that is that I, I, there are certain things in my life that I'd like to pursue, certain things that I don't think I ever fully finished pursuing, certain hobbies, and I want to get back into them. So yeah, I'll be giving you more information on that as it goes along, but one of the things that you'll see more is that I will be more on here, so I'll be able to share my life with you guys more. I'm moving from rotation to rotation quite quickly, not formally in training, so I'll still be progressing as a doctor, I'll still be learning, I'll still be treating patients, which I love. Um, but just not formally in training anymore. And one of the big questions I've been asked is why now? Why not in a year? And I think it's because I've really come to appreciate the value of a healthy year of your life. <laughs> that delaying things for delaying things sake is not always the best idea. Sometimes you just have to kind of veer away from the crowd and do what you feel called to do. I've said this before but and I'll say it again and that is that there's no such thing as a work-life balance. The, work, the whole concept of a work-life balance is an illusion. All it is is life. When you're spending your 9 to 5 or your 9 till 10 p.m. whatever it is, that is your life. That is your life and that's not a bad thing. I love being a doctor. That I, I love that that's my life but I have to include it in everything in all of Sarah <laughs> kind of thing and not just kind of just have my career um I think I need to be true oh lame be true to who I am I think I need to I need to personalize it I need to personalize my career I think everyone should I really do I think that it's almost, it's, it's kind of illogical and impossible that the traditional path through every career will suit every single person. I, I really disagree, I think we're all so different. So this isn't about me trying to get a good work-life balance, this is about me trying to live my life as truly and as, I don't want to say authentically, that's lame, as honestly as I can. I can't be I'm just doing stuff only because it's what everyone else says I should do, I can't, it just wouldn't be. It wouldn't make any sense. I think that the benefits being able to pursue other hobbies and being able to pursue other avenues in my life that I'm really passionate about, having time to do more work on organ donation and having the time to make more content for you guys to give you evidence-based information about staying fit and healthy, I think is actually going to help me be a better doctor in the long run. So I, I, I don't really know where this is going to go. I don't really know where we're going to go, me and you. Yes, you're in on this journey with me too. Um, on the good old YouTube and Gram. I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, I can't guarantee where my sports or other activities will go, but I feel like, I feel passionate and I feel excited and um, I think it was the right decision. So yeah, that is my life update, which is that I've quit my job, but I will still have a job by God's grace. I will be working ad hoc. Um, and I'll be bringing you guys a lot more, sharing a lot more of my life, um, health and fitness videos. So yeah, that's kind of my life update. Oh my gosh, my tea's going cold. I kind of like it a little bit cold though, is that bad? Like I like it when it's a drinkable temperature. I'm not one for being burnt. Oh, that's hot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I'm really excited for all that's to come this year and for... Yeah, all that God has for me. I'm also, do you know what? I also love sharing my life with you guys so, so much. Like we're growing together, hot dang. We started in med school and now we're a doctor. So life's going quick. Oh, and I went blonde as well. And I'm gonna try. This colour is here to stay. This length is here to stay. I wanna be ice blonde, kind of white almost-ish. For the foreseeable future. I feel like this is the, this is the look. What do you think? Don't let me know what you think if you don't like it because it's, it is the look and there's not a lot I can do to change it right now. <laughs> now do let me know, but this, this is the look. This is Dr. Sarah. That's how it's gonna be on this channel from now on. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.